So today, I've taken one of the devices that we actually use day in, day out at OnePlex, um, taken it out of our demo room, um, and I've, I've got it here on the table so I can show you the components. So this is the Biamp Devio. Um, this is pretty much our default solution. I say we, we use it ourselves. Um, it's great for all of our meetings, whether it's a Teams meeting, a Zoom meeting, or just whether we're sharing content in the room. Um, so it's something we've been working with probably two or three years now. Um, so let's say I've, I've taken it out. Normally it would all be um, hidden away behind the scenes. So the Devio itself would be, um, would be positioned either under the table, it can be mounted under a meeting room table, um, it positions, it's quite nice and small, so we can position it behind, um, behind a screen. But the main components here, the Devio itself, this is the SCR25, uh, so this device is Bluetooth as well as, um, as well as having wide connections to it. So, yeah, so the SCR25, I'm using the Eagle Eye Cube camera here, but it could be just any USB cable. This is actually the USB connection into the device. I've got a couple more USB connections on the back of the device as well. Um, so I've also got, this is the microphone. So this is the desktop microphone. They also, um, you can specify it with the ceiling microphone. So that's like a golf ball style mic that, uh, that hangs from the ceiling. The microphones are brilliant. I can, uh, on this desktop one, I can just mute it on the mic here, unmute it got buttons all of the way around that enable me to do that. Um, so I can daisy chain a second microphone to it. So it's surprising actually how large the rooms are that we can cover with these two, um, two microphones. Um, we've, got, we've got meeting room tables that can easily accommodate 20 people, so 10 people down each side of the table, um, and we can cover that space quite, um, you know, quite easily using these. I've also got a speaker here. So typically we might use a soundbar um, when we're actually installed in a meeting room. Um, this is just so I can just show you today how it's working. So this is actually just cabled um, into the back of the Debio. The Debio itself has got an amp in it, so it can be um, an unpowered speaker as I'm using here. We've also got RCA output, so we can use a soundbar. Um, so that's the device itself. <clears throat> now in terms of using it, I've got a couple of cables that I've presented on the table here. So I've got this blue cable here. This is, uh, this is USB 3. So the way the Debio works is it supports display link. So if I just connect this single cable to my laptop, then I'll get my video over display link. And the great thing about display link is it's built in, it's standard in Windows 10. Um, if you've got an older operating system, then it can just be installed as a separate package, um, also supported on Macs. So I can go to a meeting room with my laptop, simply plug the cable in and let me just quickly do that. So if I plug my cable in, and in fact, before I do that, if we just see on the screen here behind me, um, we've got some instructions. So I'm using an LG screen here and we find this works really well in meeting rooms. So all of the instructions for using this room, for using the Devio are displayed on the screen. And it's in fact only the section right across where it says OnePlex laptop. That's all I need to do um, to use this. And all those instructions are saying, basically, is plug the blue cable in. <clears throat> the, the middle section of the screen, their instructions for, um, so that's for legacy devices, for maybe a device that doesn't support display link. Maybe I've got something like a, uh, a DVD player that I want to connect to, um, you know, to the screen in the room here. Well, I could just plug that into this HDMI capture. So we typically think of the white cable as being for kind of, you know, for legacy support or maybe for guests. Um, you know, in, in some organizations. But anyway, if I take the, the blue cable and I simply connect it to my laptop, and it will just take a moment, but then any content from my laptop we should see get mirrored up onto the display. And that's it. So, so my display is now passed to the screen. Um, if I, any USB devices, so I spoke about the camera. So if on my laptop, if I fire up the, the camera app, so this is just a Windows uh, camera app, and you can actually see here, hopefully, that, uh, that this is the eagle eye that I'm connected to. And my microphone and speaker are also available. So I can, at this stage, just jump straight into a Teams call, and I've got great quality audio in the room from you know, being picked up on the microphone. I can hear everyone really clearly through the speaker. Now, this could be a sound bar. It could be ceiling-mounted speakers positioned in the room. 
Um, but I'm good to go. And that's really the beauty of this, uh, of this solution. I just plug in the cable, single cable, um, and away I go. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a lot of these rooms deployed, um, by far the most common installation that we've done. Um, so it works very well in small, medium, surprisingly large rooms, as I explained earlier. Um, and the story we get back in terms of support is that support is really, really low. I mean, typically the only issues we ever really see is sometimes the, the cables getting physically damaged in the room. Other than swapping the cables out, that's really been about it. And that, that is across hundreds of rooms. Um, we do have, there are firmware updates available for the device. Um, so pretty infrequent, we maybe see a, a sort of a firmware update, not even once every 12 months. Um, so we can do that remotely. The device um, is connected to the network. We can connect to it. There's a management tool um, from Biamp that enables us to push those updates. We can do some remote monitoring so we can see um, you know, if there's any problems on the device. The, the device actually configures itself to the room. So when you first put it in, there's, you know, we, we can hit a button on it, it plays a test sort of sound out into the room and it configures the microphone and the speaker levels based on that. Now again, not that we ever really need to do it, but we can do things like that remotely. So if we needed to kind of, you know, recalibrate the device remotely, we can do that. So say it's, it's a really favored sort of device of ours. We've had a lot of success with it. We use it ourselves. Um, yeah, so actually very quickly, look, if I, so if I disconnect the, uh, the blue cable, then the way the screen's configured, it's an LG screen. We use the um, failover functionality. So if it doesn't see an input, then it displays an image on the screen. And that's, that's what we're doing here to get the instructions back. So I've finished in my meeting, the next person walks in. Let's say the next person has that legacy laptop or they've got a legacy device that doesn't have display link. Well, they can simply take the white cable, plug that into their device. <clears throat> And again, we'll see in just a couple of seconds that will get picked up and the content again will get mirrored to the screen. So, so it's a great design device. We're, uh, you know, we're, we're big fans of it. So, you know, I'd very much encourage you to, uh, to take a look.